Oh, got it. That's good. Okay. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Don't get too close, Kitten. Can I come blow? Yeah, now you can blow. No, get your hair out of the way. Get your hair out of the way. Oh, there. Sweet. Hey there, friendlies. How's up? I hope everybody is healthy and nobody's COVID positive or anything out there. Um, today is a very short video where in I challenge Nate Muskoka to some uh, to learn in some knots because he and I were both interested in improving our knots. I half jokingly said on one of his Instagram lives that I would, you know, let's make this a challenge. He said, sure thing, go for it. Maybe not expect me to actually do it. So here we go. Um, I'm, I'm going to start us off simple and then uh, see where it goes. All right, let's do this. Okay. Okay, so we're going to start this off real, real simple. Um, I hope you can see me through all the smoke. Oh, land sakes. I'm um, going to start with a clove hitch because that's a very basic bushcraft knot. Um, there are cases, there are use cases for it everywhere. Let's throw this out, see if it flames up a bit. And um, it's good for tying something off to something else. It's good like at, at the end of a line, you're tying something to I don't know, a tree or a branch or something. Um, it's easy to undo if you're using something other than bank line, that is. So here's how we do it. Actually, you're not gonna be able to see bank line, are you? Let me find some paracord, I'll be right back. Camille has told me that since today is Easter, I have to wear bunny ears for at least three seconds of this video. Um, if I can... We're bunny pals and plus they flip. They flip colors. They flip. They, they flip colors. Yes, okay. Oh, so cool. Go away, smoke. All right, so um, this is even better than, than paracord. This is a um, sailboat line. Um, so that's going to be very, very visible. Okay, so here we go. Sailboat line, oh, bright orange, nice and visible for you guys now. Um, this is a knot that I learned at one point and then totally forgot about. So here's how it works. Take, take your line, wrap it around. I'm gonna try and do this facing you rather than me. So I don't know if this is gonna work. Okay, take this. <laughs> this is so hard trying to get it to face you guys. Come around. Okay, come around. And then come around again. And feed it through. That wasn't right. Hold on. Okay, so how does this work? Oh, I was doing it backwards because I was trying to get it to work with the camera like this, like this. Yeah, okay. Maybe I'll move the camera or I'll move myself. I haven't decided yet. How's the marshmallow coming, Squirt? Oh, well, it's perfect. Is that one for me? Smokes. Smoky. Mmm. Camille. So good. <laughs> Thank you. Holy crap. <laughs> it was soft all the way through. Really? Mmm. Was it a bit crunchy on the outside? A little crunchy on the outside and soft all the way through, just the way I like it. <laughs> you want another one? All right, one? let's do it. Yeah, of course I want another one. All right, I know what we're going to do. I'm going to have Camille film this from over my shoulder. Stay tuned. Okay, so around. Over, behind, through. Tuck it in. And pull. And pull. There it is. That doesn't look right. Okay, pause. Come around over. Come back around under. And through. Then 
you pull. That's not it. Come around over. Keep it fairly loose. Then come back around under and then through here. Okay? And then pull tight. You can tighten and neaten it up. Boom. And there you go. There's a clove hitch. As I said, this is a very useful knot for anything where, like, you're tying it up for now. You need something that's easy to untie later. If you yank on it, it's good and solid, okay? You can just, you know, if you yank on it this way, it's still good and solid. But I mean, this is this is your tag in, right? This is the this is where all the, the weight goes. Um, so you want to hang something like, a, I don't know what. Um, I don't know, maybe one end of a, of a ridge line or something. It's a good knot. It's a very, very basic knot. And now to end the episode. It's beer time. Because, <laughs> hey, Rain Dance Bushcraft is always beer time. Bear time. Not bear time. Beer time. I said bear time. This is a Mueller's Ale and Lagers glass from. It says Craft Brewed in the Ozarks, Springfield Brewing Company. I don't know, man. There's a Springfield in every state down there, so I don't know where. Well, Ozarks, so. I don't know. One of you guys will have to tell me. Where is Springfield in the Ozarks? Or should I say, how many Springfields are there in the Ozarks? The, uh, the beer itself, you can reach. It's okay. It's not like they don't know you're in the yard with me. I didn't want getting into your shot. Well, thank you for that. You're welcome. Sam, she'll be pleased to see that I did not bugger the, uh, the tour. <sighs> Win. Okay, here's the fun part. I'm going to challenge Nate Muskoka to a knot, uh, and then he will do that and challenge me. Um, Nate Muskoka isn't really on the YouTubes. He's uh, on Instagram. He does Instagram lives and stuff, so I'm not expecting... A YouTube video, Nate. <laughs> it's okay. I'm not going to force you to create a channel or anything. Um, I'll check you out on Instagram. Uh, and I, what I'd like to see you do is the Prusik knot, uh, which is a great knot. Um, it's a very useful knot. I use it for um, putting toggles onto the ridge line for my my tarp. Um, so when I learned that, it's funny. When I learned that knot, it made me really feel uh, all bushcrafty. Uh, so yeah, that's that's what I'd like to see you do, Nate. Uh, do me a press knot, and then I look forward to seeing what you what you give me back. All right, that's that's all she wrote. Thanks for coming and hanging out with me on this very short bow. Uh, what? <coughs> okay, I can't do the outro without Camille apparently. So thanks for hanging out with my, with us on this very short knots video. Um, if you like what I'm doing here, then please get the conversation started down below. This week, what I'd like to know... What would we like to know? What What's your favorite knot? What's your favorite knot? What's the knot you uh, use the most, find the most useful, or you just like doing the most? Crumbs. Um, aside from that, Holy please shit. share the video. It helps me more than you could possibly imagine. Aside from that, if you're not yet subscribed, then get on board. If you are subscribed, then hit that little bell and leave me a smiley That's thumb. Not. If you don't yeah, like what we're doing, leave, leave me. Like a <laughs> See you later, guys. <laughs> I think she just put earth into the soap. No!